what I have here is a collection of different videos, the camera angles, the views, to give you an idea of what they're capable of. Please keep in mind that the internet quality is not representative of what you would see in your home. What this shows is a black and white 3.6 millimeter camera placed on in kind of an unconventional area. It's 20 foot deep from gate to barn door, 24 foot wide from left to right. There is a small appliance light bulb in the upper left hand corner. If you were to walk into this area right now, it would be difficult to read print on a newspaper, but the camera sees much better than we do. You wouldn't bump into the pole, but uh, it is much darker than it appears. This gives you an idea of the depth, the width of a 3.6 if you're using it in an area other than a conventional box stall. The camera's positioned approximately six feet back from the gate, about six feet in the air. If you're using the camera for lambing or calving, uh, where the mare is at right now would be approximately 26 feet from the camera. And I'll give you an idea, it's a full-size 15-1 hand horse. Here we have a uh, barn that uses three cameras in rotation, uh, a camera on two box stalls and then one covering two stalls across the aisleway. These are all standard 12 by 12 stalls. This is a 12 foot aisleway. So your camera is right at this point 12 foot away from the stalls. That's a corner mount on a 12 by 12. It's a 3.6 color camera. Another 3.6 color camera. Again, corner mount on a 12 by 12. And there's your two stalls. This owner used the uh, three camera configuration. The two box stalls he wanted adequate coverage on. The third camera was more just to cover the other two to make sure that there was nothing going on in case a horse got casted or they heard noise via the audio. Okay, here's the same barn. We used this in a production video for a show. This is the same stall you just saw, the color camera. We replaced it on the next frame with a black and white camera, same lighting, same stall, to give you an idea of the difference between the two. And we'll run these two through again for comparison purposes. I wish I still had the raw footage, but this was all that was preserved. Here's another example of a 3.6 millimeter wide angle black and white lens, a uh, different stall, different barn, different lighting conditions. This is placed approximately 10 feet in the air. Same barn, same black and white camera, now shooting out across three different box stalls. Again, the same barn. Now we've switched over to a color 3.6 lens. This camera will switch to a black and white mode when the light becomes too low, which I'll show you in a bit. This gives you an idea of the wide angle 90 degree field of view on a long distance. The second, the first horse you're actually seeing, the uh, end of that stall will be 24 feet from the camera. The next stall end of it will be 36, and the white horse that you see poking its head up would be uh, 48 foot away. So the wide angle camera tends to make animals appear much further out than they actually would to the naked eye. Okay, this clip will show you our 3.6 wide angle color camera. The color camera has a switch over mode, which will put it in a black and white mode when the lighting conditions become too low for the color to operate effectively. In this frame, what we'll do is cut the lights down to the point where it must force itself to a black and white mode. Now you see the camera operating in black and white mode. Again, in these stalls, it would be difficult to read newspaper print. Um, you can walk around, but you're not going to do anything that requires you know, a lot of light the cameras will see better in black and white mode than you do with your naked eye. Again, 3.6 lens placed approximately 8 to 10, 10 feet in the air on a 12 by 12 stall, placed almost in the corner. Now we've positioned the 6 millimeter lens to give you an idea of the focal length and depth. This is our day-night infrared camera. Now what you'll see is the same box stalls, the three box stalls with horses in them, plus the one additional under us. So you're looking at 48 foot out to the far barn wall. There'll be another shot of the 3.6 day-night infrared camera. Here's your stall with lights on, no horse, and there's your stall in total darkness infrared coverage. As you'll see, it lights a single stall adequately. Now we'll turn the camera up to give you an idea of the limited capabilities of the standard day-night infrared. 
Again, now the horse in the stall is at far walls 24 feet away. As you can see, that's about the limitations of the infrared for the standard day-night camera.